When your mind's open to something, mm. that literally is all you can see. Something funny happens to us. Mm. When we look for something, we see it. You left Brisbane and you came over here, and all of a sudden you were you, your eyes were opened up to something. But you travelled that far to find it. I wouldn't be surprised if it was all around you, but you just weren't open to seeing it. Mm. But it took that to move. Same thing happened for me. I left the UK. I had a job in Hong Kong. And I literally went that far, failed at a job. But now because my mind was open to it, that's all I saw. I actually wrote an article in this book on, on the color of the car. You may have read that, that part in there. Have you ever been in a car park or in a dealership? And there's a car there, and it's, it's a funky colour. It's an orange, it's a blue, a purple, whatever. And you walk past it and you go, that's a weird-ass car. You know, I haven't seen that colour before. And then you get in your car and you drive home. And on the highway, what's the only colour of car you can see? <laughs> you see 10 of them on the way. Now, you came all the way over here going, I want to find this. And da-da, it appeared. You know? I think things happen when we actually search for them. For me... It was that aggravation. I had to find something. I'm sure as shit there were successful people around me, mm. but I wasn't in them. I had to get an, out of that sandpit. I had to break that tie. I had to go out and find it. And, of course, I found it by starting off in Hong Kong. But I'm sure as hell for people out there thinking, oh, my God, do I have to leave my country? No, maybe you just have to open up your mind to be able to see what you're looking for. We've got to yeah. see what we can see. I remember a, a friend of mine, he's departed but will never leave, a guy called Dr. Sean Stevenson. And he used to turn around and everything that ever happened to him. And the lad had a body that was busted up, sitting on a wheelchair all his life. You know, he had every reason to complain. One of the funniest, sharpest dudes on the planet. And he always used to say, whatever happened, he would go, hey, was this done for me or was it done to me? And just just having your head question that allows you the ability to go, oh, this was good. Because I guarantee you, anyone listening to this podcast, especially us, we've been through the shitter. You know, we've been laughed at, sued, ripped off, poked fun at. It's just what happens to entrepreneurs, okay? And in every single one of those moments, we go, oh, my God, this is terrible. Until a week later when you go, that was actually probably the best thing that ever happened to me. I know of contracts that I lost, that I cried myself on that first night, only a week later go, bloody glad I dodged a bullet with that one, you know? Glad I didn't get into a relationship with that fella. All of these things happen. And it's that is that ability to reframe what goes on before it happens or after it happens that actually enables you to take the gold out of it.